Hi, I want to show how easily you can use old uh, netbooks like this one or laptops even to this day and age. Uh, I actually started my um, online work and uh, business with this machine I'm holding right now in 2012 and uh, besides being still useful today uh, it's also fun to experiment with and try out new things with. Underneath the netbook you can see the hard drive has been taken away completely. It's in this enclosure and now lives on as an external hard drive. Here's a 2 GB RAM, so it's been upgraded a bit. This is the plate. And it goes on here. When the plate underneath the netbook is attached, you see the screws here underneath the keyboard. Um, but I'm gonna ignore those as this machine is not one I'm very careful with. Everything will be held in place anyway. Um, so on with the keyboard again. Let's hit the boot up from the USB. Uh, try it without installing or default, it doesn't matter. It's the same. Lubuntu is on. So Lubuntu is the lightweight system, the lightweight OS. It works on anything. And there are, e there are even lighter versions of Linux. So on the web page, DistroWatch, you can see all those distros and get the latest news and download. And yeah, it's the place to go to. Internet is on. Let's go to the web browser. I'm not going to customize Firefox now and install, you know, ad blocker, um, tracker blockers and all that. I'm just going to go straight to, to YouTube and just listen to my own music. So nobody has uh, some copyright issues with that. <laughs> The uses of an older laptop can be as obviously as an extra laptop, but it can also be uh, purposely used for something else like uh, music, um, like a music play machine, Spotify computer, um, a guest computer. And um, yeah, you can f come up with anything, find any sort of use for an older laptop. And um, you can also use external storage like drives and USBs to read music from or to download files from as this machine doesn't have a hard drive anymore. Distrowatch.com you can see all the Linux distros here and there are plenty more of course but these are the most popular. I want to show you one that's uh, interesting it's called Tails. Um, it is a operating system that is made for anonymity. Basically, um, Tor is a web browser, but um, Tails operating operating system is a is a complete system. So um, you can install that and use on your uh, purpose based hard drive, empty laptop or netbook, uh, if you want to. Um, that will protect you. We can use it as a traveling computer, a journalistic computer, and you can change your locations uh, depending on your purposes. Now, um, if you have a better machine, a better older laptop, not like the one I showed you here, you can actually go for um, like decent, stable, very uh, user-friendly distros like Linux Mint, of course. Um, there are many more here, body OS. Yeah, so there are many interesting looks and feelings to them, you see. Linux basically keeps your computer alive when it's supposed to be dead.
and if you do some hardware upgrades find some secondhand parts a machine will last very long like a Volkswagen Golf or something I hope this video gave an idea and some inspiration to reuse your old laptops um, maybe not yours but you have friends family because too many machines end up uh, at the electrical um, disposal somewhere uh, around the world causing environmental hazards and stuff so that can release that tension and also might uh, prevent someone or you to go out and consume a machine that they really don't need so the more you know the less you need the more you get take care and all the best